What's up? Guys, welcome back. We are right here at the Serena Hotel, Nairobi. We have the beautiful Celestine Gashuhi. Papa Vipi. Poasana. You're looking beautiful. Uh, what are you doing here today? Oh, so we're here to launch uh, two products, mm -hmm. the ITEL mm -hmm. um, S24, uh -huh. and the other one is R. R. R what? I'm even forgetting the ad. Yeah, there's another product and also the accessories. Uh -huh. uh, the two phones. Uh, I think are R24 and then S24. S24, I think I've been thinking about S24 because of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so the other one, uh, mostly it's meant for the uh, TA, target market, and all that. Uh -huh. And then the S24, you know, it's really measuring on camera. Uh -huh. Yes, for people like me, because I love photos. I love me some good photos. Uh -huh. And yes. of course you're a content creator. Tell us yeah. a little about the camera. The camera, mm -hmm. now that I've not like um, held the phone, mm -hmm. and I'm going to, the way he's explained, Dan, uh, the camera is so amazing. It has like 108 megapixel. Um, the storage is amazing. Mm -hmm. It has a night mode. Mm -hmm. Woo! So this means you get, you're going to get one uh, after this? Yes, I don't know if it's today, uh -huh. but I will definitely. How much? Okay. How much maybe is the phone? Uh, I don't know the amount yet for uh -huh. now. Yes, but when I will, I definitely like on my socials. I'll give details about the S twenty four. Yeah, I tell S twenty four. Maybe talking about uh, phones and cameras, a content creator. Yeah. Uh, taking us back to the first time you uh, started content creation. Yeah. You did, you, of course, you needed a good camera. Yeah. You start with a phone or you immediately got it? Uh, I started with a phone. Uh -huh. Yes, and my content creation started when, you know, before we didn't know really this is content creation, yeah. but when I look at it, I used to use my phone, uh, I really didn't have access to cameras and all that, uh -huh. and right now the fact that I'm moving, like I'm a moving content creator, I'm a moving actor, um, I'm doing my own events and all that, uh -huh. so my phone, like my phone is, like I really need to have my phone and a good phone, uh -huh. like an S24. Uh -huh. Yo, uh -huh. you are ready, be ready to be sick of me. Uh -huh. <laughs> An actor, mm -hmm. is it a plus to also be a content creator? Personally, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you know, when I'm not like on set and I'm a creative, like being an actor, that means I'm a creative. So I'll think of things in the house and I'll create, even if I don't have a, like a real camera, yeah. if I have a good phone, mm -hmm. like literally. A good phone is an investment uh -huh. for me. A good phone with a good, you know, camera. Uh -huh. Yes. I also understand that um, I I follow you. Mm -hmm. You you do YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've seen this story about um, Civil Steve Boboy mm -hmm. and his management and the and the YouTube thing. Is it is it hard to manage like a YouTube channel? Um, to have the loggings because every time you're finding him, he's always having somebody like you know doing it for him. Is it that difficult? <laughs> First of all, I've, I've not had, I've not been on YouTube for a while, like maybe months. Uh, okay, about Steve or Simple Boy, okay, I don't know. Let me tell you, let me be honest. I, I don't know about Steve or Simple Boy, but it's not hard. As long as you have good management, you know, and what it's not hard. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us, you've mentioned that you haven't been on uh, YouTube for a couple of months. Mm. What's the reason? I know you have Reason fans. being, uh -huh. <laughs> reason being, mm -hmm. I am... Um, Mostly, I think time. It's it's. Let me tell you, um, uh, YouTube. It needs commitment. It needs you to like almost drop everything uh -huh. and focus on YouTube. Uh -huh. It almost does. Like uh -huh. it almost does. And especially when you're doing personal stuff, mm -hmm. um, you really need to have strategies and all that. So I just I was just like, mm, let me pause a little bit and figure out or um, on something that I wanna do. Uh -huh. And yeah, you say you follow me? Yeah. Yes, and I'm pushing something called Simama mm -hmm. about the GBV, you know, fighting against GBV, if yeah. you've seen. Yeah. Uh, it's called Simama, we are, we are almost launching it. Mm -hmm. And I think right now we are really in the cooking stage mm -hmm. and we are really using my voice, myself, my team, my management, mm -hmm. we are really using my voice to to fight this whole thing of gender-based violence mm -hmm. and the whole femicide. Uh -huh. Yes, and if you've been following me, I know you've seen that. Yeah. And yes. Course, uh, uh, talking about your Instagram, I love that car. Um, uh, not really a sentence, but that car. GBV advocate. Yes. What's the story uh, behind uh, this song? The story behind me wanting to fight for this and using my voice. 
really, I, I personally have never experienced it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see my parents do it. I didn't yeah. see anyone. Um, but for now, mm -hmm. I think that the, the thing that stirred me is, like, I try to imagine abuse. I try to imagine I'm in the house and I'm being beaten. I try to imagine, like, I can't really figure it. Like, I can't grasp mm -hmm. the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, my girls, like, women will like women are dying because of this and mm -hmm. we need to speak them out we need to like when i think before our time like our generation nobody talked about them like nobody talked about these things and we all know maybe someone was being beaten we all know maybe you had stories even yeah. though you didn't experience it and that's that's a fuel in me we need to talk about it like people are being beaten even before marriage i'm not saying when you're married you should be beaten uh -huh. but i can't imagine you're beating me and i'm your girlfriend uh -huh. no uh -huh. like no and also even if you've married me do not like why are you beating me uh -huh. like and also GBV is not only being beaten, mental torture, yeah. financial torture, it's just so many things, you know, economic, it's, it's so many things. GBV has a lot, you know, of um, roots, so we need, we need to fight them. It's not only being beaten physically, and it's so sad, but I'm willing to use my voice, my, you know, the, the gift that God has given me of fame and acceptance to people. It's a gift and I'm willing to give it to speak about this. So represent maybe men because there are also women who beat men yes 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 and, and I remember when I started posting them last year yeah. the 16 days of fighting GBV in November men were like you know you're fighting for women no we are, we are fighting for even men because we do not condone women beating men because men like people are dying uh -huh. whether female or male uh -huh. people are dying because of this financial torture like control being controlled very toxic traits of being in a relationship and I'd rather be single than being beaten for yeah. sure for sure uh -huh. mm. you know, there's something that uh, you've mentioned financial abuse and I know a lot of people be like how is financial abuse abuse probably related to GBV yeah like like um, I was like when I started I was searching and researching and it was financed that means uh, if your partner maybe is earning and, and you're not earning, maybe your partner can force you to finance them by force. That's abuse. You get. Uh, when it comes to economic, it's the same thing. Like someone can abuse you. There are people who are abused by making sure that you pay everything for them just because you're in a relationship. You don't want to, but you're doing it. And then you find you've done nothing with your life. Yeah. Mm. But you can do research about GBV. Also, let's let's educate ourselves. We have Google. We have so many things. Let's learn and see how many things that we have. Uh -huh. mm. Maybe one last question. Mm. Um, because you're in the in the, in the film industry, do you think the film industry is taking like uh, positive changes? It. Oh yes. Oh yes. We are doing amazing things because most of the things that we've seen Netflix has taken so much, so much content from us, and this is amazing. Showmax is showing up. You know, like we are doing stuff, and also we are now getting to know we can do things on our own and people are doing stuff like look at um, Jackie, Jackie, uh, all of them are Jackie, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jackie, Awinja. Awinja, that's what I'm saying, Awinja yeah. did Neni, Matubia did the toxic, it's just, it's possible, it's possible and we, we, I'm really hoping that I will go to that direction, yes. Yeah. All right, and maybe look at this camera stuck to your phone. Hi guys, my name is Celeste Ngashohe and... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Celeste Ngashohe. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for giving me, you know, the psych to do this and continue doing it. There's so many things that I'm bringing on the table, especially Simama. Watch, watch out for this Simama. And also, I've not talked about Film Connect, but Film Connect Africa. If you go to my page, you'll see. And also, you can follow it, Film Connect Africa. It's about film. Um, I'm helping budding actors who are coming up, you know, just maybe laying uh, to them exactly what um, film industry is all about from my experience so thank you and bye bye follow me on instagram facebook tiktok follow 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 and thank you thank you so much thank you so much ah, yeah. thank you <coughs> ladies and gentlemen eric omondi upper president of comedy africa yo yo this is kushman pedi wa magengi mambo vipi watu wangu wa nairobi na kenya mzima subscribe kwa stories anini 254 across all social media platforms <laughs>
Na wewe ndio dori subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa wewe finya.